Hello again, everybody. Ben here. Well, not really, because it's not my name. For week nine, verse Thunder 10. Work week 10 versus Thunderflight. Gonna go through real quickly what he has. He's got Infernape, Crawdont, Tornadus, Incarnate, Orgon 2, Aromatis, Bahium, Mega Ampharos. He picked up Fob, well, Jasmine. Thank you very much. Um, Escavalier, Escavalier, Blastoise, Landorus Incarnate as well, and Gigalith. So he's got some pretty good speed tiers in Tornadus Eye and Fernape. He's also got uh, Opportunity for Trick Room and Tailwind. He's also got a uh, set of Sweepers as well in Landorus and everything. So his team is overall really good for picking from scraps. Um, it's actually quite uh, terrifying. And as for myself, oh, I'm going to have to edit that out too, just like the other one. Um, <laughs> They're looking at the new sprites. There's a whole bunch of new sprites uh, released on Showdown, such as Gardevoir, Gallade, and Mega Absol, which is strange. I don't know why they did that. As for ourselves, we've got uh, Dual da <laughs> Dance Splork again. We're bringing him this time, uh, bringing him for this battle with Granium Z. Earthquake. Uh, Stone Edge, Rock Polish, and Sword Stance. Now, I didn't check this. I've been intending to check this. Is that 340? Is that Infernape Scarf? Uh. Alright, that's for Infernape Scarf, I believe. Yes. So that accounts for Infernape Scarf. Um, we've got Mega Pincer with Sword Stance, Close Combat, Return, and Earthquake. Enough speed for his base 100 in... Or base 101 in Lando Eye. Life Orb Greninja with enough speed for Infernape, of course. Hydro Pump, U-Turn, Ice Beam, and Dark Pulse. We got Hydro Pump, Pain Split, Bolt Switch, Toxic, Physically Defensive, Rotom Wash with Rocky Helmet. This is to chip down Infernape. Enough speed for... Why am I 230 speed? There's no reason for me to be 230. It needs to be 240 if I'm going to speed Porygon, but Porygon probably isn't going to be coming. I actually don't know why it was 230 speed. That's so strange. Achoo! Um, there must have been a reason why I had it at 2.30, and now I can't think of it. Maybe he was speed creeping for something on my team, and I was countering the speed creep for that? I actually can't think of why. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing. Why did I pick 230 speed? I actually can't figure it out. I don't need it. So we'll just do this. Um, especially defensive chili with Stealth Rock, Ice Shard, Earthquake, and Toxic. Um, Porygon 2 is kind of an issue for our team because we don't have a great way to break through it, barring close combat from Mega Pinsir. So I'm running Toxic on two of my mods. And Choice Scarf Gengar with an E-Ball, Sludge Wave, Icy Wind, and Trick. Hopefully I can catch out one of his mons with the Choice Scarf and everything will be alright. Um, this is a few hours after my battle with, um, that's gotta be cut out. After my battle with Yuri. So, coming off that loss. He's got, I didn't think he'd bring Gigalith or Scavalier. He didn't bring Torn Eye, so that's alright. God, I'm gonna have to make so many black screens. I hate it. This actually drives me crazy. Import the team. Good to go. So he decides to bring that right there. I should check to make sure that it's going and it is good. Um, hmm.
Food for thought. Greninja's right there. Um. Yeah. He's got two rockers, three rockers, out on the field right now. So if I want Lando to sweep, oh, I can't even, because of Lando I. That's a tad bit annoying. Um, yeah, I'll just start with Gren, I think. As he starts with P2, that is truly unfortunate. Why would you start P2? Well, whatever. I'll just go Palace Mine. As he goes for Toxic. So if I had gotten Gengar, that would have been pretty nice. Um, he might just switch out here. Yeah, he was predicting the Toxic, so I'll make him think that I don't have it. Potentially. He's Bug Steel, I've got Wash. Wash is fine here, I think. As he goes for Knock Off, unfortunate. Ah, AV, cool. I live. No worries there. Volt switch. So we know that this thing is what it is, what it is, what it do though. S Cavalier. Corey. I used to actually used to call it S Cavalier. Infernape. He's also got Lando I. He's also got. I can remember. Crawdon. And Gigalith. I got it all this time. Much better. Um, so AV. Porygon is obviously going to be EVO light, and we don't know the rest. Ah, clean. Clean, clean, clean. Um, num, 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 num. Time to actually do some calx now. So spin cycle. Run a wash. Assault best. Did. 24? So maybe it's not even a salt vest? Um, but either way, the turn should kill from Mega Pinsir. Yeah, it's guaranteed kill no matter what. He lets the scavalier, scavalier go down. No worry. No problem. So we outspeed uh, every mon he has left. Which is pretty good, uh, barring Infernape, of course. As he goes straight into it. Like you'd expect. Kind of unfortunate that Wash is so low. Uh, I'm gonna go Pile Swine. That. Wow, you swallowed that. Nice job. I'm gonna go for a Toxic here. As he does that. So he's proven he's shown to us that he's not scarf, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um he's minus one as well. Um let's try to figure out what kind of set he is. He's probably actually a Z move. His Z users are in fact Infinite Lando, I and Bahiam. So it's not choice locked. Probably should have. I, pro I in, if it was me, I would just keep on clicking flare blitz anyway to give off the impression that I am in fact um, choice lock. So let's see. Pellet swine took that much. Yeah, so it's pretty normal damage. Probably a Z move is my guess. Grant of course comes in and kills with hydro pump. Nothing crazy there. What about Gengar? Gengar does kill with Sludge Wave, so that's pretty cool. Uh, 
Uh, wash. What does Wash take? Well, Wash dies from close combat anyway, so that's um, a suicide move. If only he wasn't Choice Scarf, Gengar. But even then, that's still fine. I still just want to go for Ninja, really. For Ninja's pretty free. Um, also, just want a U turn. Yep. It's fine by me. Uh, don't need to worry about that anymore. I'll jot down the possible for this. Let's see if we can pull some calcs out from this. So it's probably that standard spread. Standard spread for RU, I guess. Um, yeah. So, wash. This is basically the perfect time to go for a pain split. Nice. Just gonna toxic, or are you gonna actually try attack? Cool. Um, we know what your base is. So I'll just take that damage and B switch out. Let's see if he goes for another tri attack. If he does, we catch him pretty nicely with Gengar. Doesn't anyway. That's fine. Trick is still pretty free. Unless he goes out into a Zemon. Lovely. Fine by me, Bubby. Oh, if I got him with the Icy Wind. That was a crit. So, Gengar into Lando. Uh, Sludge Wave at a crit should be doing a regular amount of damage such as that. If he is Scurf... I just want to go Spork, honestly. Spork's pretty easy. Because he had the opportunity to go Giggle with. So yeah, I'm not really too worried. Yeah, he wasn't choice locked all along. Haha! <laughs> Way to catch me on that, bud. Now don't miss this Stone Edge, please, Splork. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you. Lando gone. Not bad. Yeah, if you got Mach Punch, you do. Which is fine by me. Um, because it just means we can go Gran or Gengar again. Is anyone else seeing this? Wow. Come on, this should kill. Or two hit. Or not, because you're fat as fuck. Hello! <laughs> so his last move is Ice Beam, and that's been disabled! Not bad! Now he's just gonna let it die and he's gonna go into Infernape again. Why is he saving his Gigalith? I didn't under I don't understand why he didn't save Gigalith. That was so strange to me. I'll just kill P2, I guess. Cool. Curse bo Yo, that's a lot of cursed body procs. Like, holy shit. That's wild. me. 
If I had quick attack on this thing, Infinite would come in and die. Ah, oh, you're more than just a thing, Gear Freedom. Sorry, you preach. You, you require more than just this thing. Uh, I can't let this thing set up. I gotta go for quick attack. Yeah, I don't have a choice. No choice at all. Um, do I just lose? Uh oh. Um, let's see here. We don't just lose, we're good. Greninja is oddly fat. Fine with me. Way to go, Gengar! And Sandstorm subsides. I should live. The battle's not over? I lose. That's brutal. Ah, uh, it's cause I'm calking for fucking Protean again. Showdown is so fucking stupid. Showdown is so dumb. That's so stupid. That actually cost me, because I could have won. So remember that battle with uh, Humble Haunter where I had that gunk shot on Heracross and I said it mattered because I could have won the game? Kind of just happened while I was editing. I said that I could have won, um, but that's not true. I lost the end of the game once. Um, like at the moment where I said, oh, do I just lose? That, that was basically the time that I lost. Um, and quite easily at that, I just misplayed. And yeah, there we go. I just didn't play the end game. Simple as that. I think I go on a little bit of rambling spree soon here, but pay no attention to it. I might keep it in. I'm not sure. But uh, I definitely couldn't have won. Even like, there's no way I could have won with the lawns I had left and all that. There's no way I could have played in order to win unless Gengar got the cursed body off for Aqua Jet on um, Crawdon. But that's it. Uh, just a quick little minute spiel. Back to your video. Oh well. There we go. I lost. It's only 1-0 loss, so it's not horrible, but a loss is still a loss. I don't want it. GG to Thunderflight, he got me with that, um, bluff scarf on Gengar. In reality, I think I should have just not worried about it at all and gone for Icy Wind anyway. Even if he swapped or he actually was scarf, it didn't matter. I could go out into Landorus and set up for free anyway. So it really didn't matter at the end, I guess. But oh well. I'll make sure I know for next time. Um, because I'm pretty slated in for playoffs, I do believe with my record that I've got. Oh, at this point, um, it's week 10, so I guess I could say. Um, this would make me 6-3, and three, I think? No, 6-4. and four. Uh, But even then, I don't know how everyone else is doing. Um, so I'm not sure. It's hard to really say, but there we go. Could I have one if I... Or fuck. <laughs> Could I have won if I played that end game a little bit differently? So Gear Freed. Gear Freed doesn't matter. If I had quick attack, I would have been fine. I think. Because if I had swapped out Gear Freed, it didn't matter. Go into Gren. U turn, yeah. So if he had let me U turn onto it, I would have won. Gengar comes out. 
kills with sludge wave yeah I don't think I could have won the end game there anyway I messed up there we go what can you do uh, GG again to Thunderflight and yeah I, I need to get my head together because this is pretty annoying <laughs> it's pretty funny how a 29 turn game is 30 minutes shorter compared to Yori's, but there we go.